Hey, what's up guys? Jordan Anderson here from Valley Films, and today I want to talk about focusing on your strengths. There are a lot of roles you can have as a filmmaker. You can be a director, producer, director of photography, sound engineer, all sorts of things. You can, there's a, a huge range of possibilities in the filmmaking world, but I think it's important that you want to focus on your strengths. Early on in the filmmaking process when it's just you and maybe a friend or you know just a couple of you, you have to take on multiple roles. You have to be the director and the cameraman and sometimes the sound guy and sometimes the lighting guy. But as you develop your talents, as you sort of get further into the filmmaking world, I think it's important that you focus on your strengths. When you get to a larger role and when you get to a larger production, everyone starts to specialize in their jobs. The director sometimes never touches the camera. So it's important that early on as a filmmaker you start to develop your skills in the certain realm that you think that you want to go into. I think it's important to focus on your strengths. I'll use myself for an example. Um, I'm sort of keeping away from the director roles, sort of the actor and story roles, because I want to focus more on the visual elements, I want to focus more on the cinematography, camera motion, and the psychology of the camera versus the psychology of the story. Now that may pigeonhole me, I'm investing most of my abilities into being a director of photography versus trying to be sort of an okay director, sort of an okay producer, and then kind of meld into sort of an okay director of photography. Sort of decide early on. Now, now I'm not saying like decide for the rest of your life what filmmaking role you want to be in. I think it's important that you start to sort of steer your career towards at least one direction. A lot of people would just sort of stand still. You need, to, you need to decide on one direction just at least for the next couple months, next couple years. Of course, it's okay to shift positions, but I think focusing on your strengths and not trying to build up your weaknesses is, uh, is actually going to be more fruitful for you as a filmmaker. I hope you enjoy these vlogs. They're a lot of fun to make, and it's really fun to see the engagement that we're getting from these videos. We're always looking for feedback, so tell us if we're doing things right, if we need to change things up, maybe change the, if the video's too long, too short. Be sure to check us out on Beam and Instagram. We're getting pretty hot in these realms. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. We're gonna keep making all this great content, keep making some filmmaking behind the scenes stuff, more vlogs, and if you're not exactly sure what that content's gonna be, be sure to check out this video right here where we talk about the top 10 goals as filmmakers for the next couple months. Ooh. Ooh.